Uh, I've, I've got a god I do business with called the Great Mystery Power. And the Great Mystery Power's endgame, and from what I see, I've just got out of a conference of ministers and rabbis. Every one of them has said nothing but there is only peace. The end game is peace on this planet. We know this. Everybody of faith knows there's only one place to go. The end game is peace. So why are we mucking around in the mess of fear and the darkness? Uh, when I was teaching, uh, I taught at a university up in Fairbanks. And uh, I took my students into a closet. And we, it was a dark closet and we shut the door. And I had a flashlight. And I was teaching physics in, in this particular, the nature of light and dark is really what I was teaching. And I, uh, so we went in this dark closet and I said, so here's what light does to darkness. And I turned on a flashlight and the dark fled. It went into the corners around us, but it fled. And that's what light does. That's pure physics. So if we shine our light on the darkness, the darkness has to go away. It is compelled to go away. It has to. It has no other choice. It cannot overtake the light. And that's why I will not allow one nanosecond of darkness within me. And so I just, there is nothing but light. You know, uh, for me, the election is, is a good thing. Uh, because, see, we in this country, we're living in um, we're living in a country that's only 240 some years old. It's a brand new country, and we're still working things out here. I lived in Europe many years, and I looked back on this country, and I went, "Huh." And we're just the new kid on the block, and so we have had unworkable systems that only serve, if you will, the 99 percent or serve the 1% rather rather than the 99% if you want to go to the Occupy thing, and I'm very much involved with Occupy. Uh, so I don't see this election as, as a bad thing. I see it as a good thing because I've been an addiction counselor and a life coach and a counselor for many, many years. I'm 73, and so I've seen an awful lot of history, both the United States and, and Europe. And I've been involved all my life in activism. So I don't see this election as a bad thing. I see it as the bottoming out of unworkable systems in this country. No system in this country has ever been good for anybody other than the 1%, uh, which is pretty much uh, recognized as a big money, um, corporate interest, capitalism, etc. And that's also a good thing. I'm, I'm not against rich people. In fact, I used to have money myself. But when you take that money and you use it in the appropriate, inappropriate ways, which has bottomed out our, our environment, has bottomed out marginalized, oppressed people, etc., then that is not a good system. So this is the bottoming out of an old, unworkable groups of systems that is now at a point of choice. Uh, there's nothing to fear because most people are uh, spiritual, spiritually based people. We're just, uh, the, you know, I'm adopted um, well, Lakota. Uh, I'm part Dutch, but I'm part Salagi native from Kuala Boundary, North Carolina. But uh, my practice is more uh, dancing that medicine wheel, and I call my God the great mystery power. And what we're told and what I've been dancing with, and also as a Baha'i, I'm a Buddhist, I'm a Baha'i, so I have all of that background. And I've only got one place to be, and that's right now in the now moment, following my breath. I've only got, so there really isn't any, ba uh, the, I have memories of the past, but there really isn't any future because we're not there yet. And if I have to put myself on the front line to do that, I am a warrior woman. I really am. That's part of my culture is I'm a warrior woman, peaceful warrior woman. I'm very much involved with Standing Rock situation. I cannot go there because of my age and my handicap. I can't be physically on the front lines, but I am supporting 
the natives that are there and we're supporting with, and a, you know, I'm a cheerleader. 